Hey, what's up, you guys? My name's Matt Simons, and you're watching Toasted. Matt Simons here on the couch, Pink Pop 2016. Woo! Woo! (laughs) (laughs) You have to perform today, Matt. How are you feeling? Ooh, I'm excited. This is going to be great. I've never been here before. And, I mean, I've just heard such great things. But you say you you never been here before. What what did you do yesterday? Except for yesterday. <laughs> okay, okay. Never been here except for yesterday. <laughs> what happened yesterday? We just came to see some music. I uh, saw the Red Hot Chili Peppers play, saw James Bay. It's just a nice afternoon. A nice American kind of... Just yeah, it was pretty Dutch though. I wasn't. I don't think it was American yesterday. You guys had lots of bitterballen and and tasty Dutch snacks. Wow. <laughs> hey, but but how do you like it here in the Netherlands? Because uh, your success actually began here in the Netherlands, but you're from yeah. America. So I'm like, we talked about it earlier. Yep. You know how does it feel to be here and not so much in America? And how? You know, how does it feel? I mean, I love it here. Netherlands is probably one of my favorite countries to visit in the whole world. Uh, I've been coming here, yeah, for years now to play and just sort of now branching out to the rest of Europe. But Netherlands will always be first in my heart. It's good to hear, good to hear. But uh, because I know your record just came out in in America, the success record, the I think the Deep End remix of yeah. Catch and Release is yeah. is the official single there or yeah. not? Oh yeah, that that's the official single there. It's just coming out. Got a little bit of radio love, which is always nice, especially from from the U.S. It's not easy, but yeah. But how did do, how does it go so far? It's been going well. You know, I was traveling traveling a lot, going to visit different radio stations. Been to like Nashville, Denver, Portland, Oregon. Texas and just sort of starting to yeah to, what, to see what, how it what goes. What is the difference between the Netherlands or Europe and America? I mean, it's pretty similar. I think it's it's mostly the same. You know, they speak only one language in um, America as opposed to Germany and Netherlands, where you guys speak like three or four different languages. Not everyone. Not everyone. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's it's been it's been fun traveling around. Just came back from LA, where I'm making a new album, wow. making some new music. I'm really excited about. And 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 is it like only Matt Simons or other artists that feature on the new record? On the new on the new record, it's it's mostly just me. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, cool. And is it the same writer as the Catch and Release writer? That's a Dutch guy, right? No, he's a Swedish guy. The guy oh. who wrote Catch and Release with me. But no, we didn't do another song, unfortunately. But th- there is a Dutch guy. Yes, that that does the the last record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my friend Gordon. You mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We might work together a little bit more on this on this album. Uh, we're gonna get into Whistle Lord Studios next week. Cool. Record a new tune. Yeah. Well, I'm curious, Matt. But listen, you got like a one top one, like the one hit wonder yeah. with yeah. Catch and Release. Yeah. Which was number one in? Number one in Germany, in France, in Spain. Yeah. I think and Belgium. Right? Oh yeah, it's totally crazy. But what, what, you know, because what is actually the difference now from before and after a, a one, a one number one? I don't know. I think we're gonna have to see what the difference is. I haven't really, you know, put out any music since that happened. So we'll just have to wait and see. Just, just go for it, you know. Yeah, but I think you you perform a lot more than before. I've been getting to play a lot of nice gigs. For example, Pink Pop Festival. Yeah, it's huge. It's going to be really, really fun. Um, doing a, did a, a couple more. Yeah, I got a few more festivals this summer that I'm really looking forward to. And then a big headline tour 
in uh, October. Yeah, and and what is your dream? Because no one, I think, can dream of such a big record. You know, such a big hit. I so what? Find something else to dream about. I don't know. This was, this is already a dream come true. So I don't. I mean, I think just to keep it going. You know, that's the the dream is to have, you know, maybe some a few more songs that do well and for it not to be over. Yeah, I know. But uh, who is your biggest inspiration? Like, if you see like big artists who had like massive hits. Who is your biggest inspiration? I would say, I mean, Paul McCartney is going to be here tomorrow. You know, he's he's kept it up. He still writes music. He just did a song with Kanye West. That was a huge hit. Yeah. He's like been doing it forever, and like that kind of, uh, you know, long-lasting career, I think, is something that he really, you know, really I really admire, and it's super inspiring. Yeah, and and have you because. You name Paul McCartney. He he worked with Ke uh, Kanye. Do you have an artist where you want to work with? Ooh. If you could say, I pick you. I mean, it would be pretty fun to do a song with Kygo. Well, he's, he's also here tomorrow. Uh, maybe I could go say. Hi. Maybe I could try to yeah convince him. Could just tap on his shoulder and be like, Hey, Kygo, let's do a song. Yeah, you should actually. Maybe who knows? Okay, so we might have like a little scoop here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and is there something you can tell us, like, you know, for example, someone like Kaigo or Robin Shoes, who is here today, an artist like that you might be working with? Um, nothing concrete at the moment. There's nothing that I can say. Yes, we're we're doing a song together. But I've been, you know, been talking with a bunch of different different artists and hopefully going to do some collaborations in the next couple of years. But there's not a song lined up already? Nothing lined up at the moment, no. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, what else you can tell us? I mean... Who, who do you miss the most when you're in the Netherlands? Oh, I miss my lady. I miss my girlfriend. A who lot. is that? Uh, her name's Cassandra. I miss my coffee machine that I have back in the States. It's better than the Dutch coffee? Uh, it's just mine, you know? It's the one that I have, that I get up in the morning and I, I make myself coffee. So it just feels special. And your home, your friends? Oh yeah, always. I miss New York City. I miss mama buddies. But they do, do they come here? To see your adventures, to see your gigs? You know, they did. A few of them just did come out on my last tour. They came to Amsterdam and Cologne and Paris. And a bunch of some friends that, that came to see. And how do they see your career? Because they watch you from, you know, seeing you growing and growing. Yeah, no, it was interesting. You know, they'd heard about it in the States, but to actually be there, I think, was was really fun for them. Yeah, then it they... Was fun for me. Yeah, of course. Then they saw what 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 it did, you know. Yeah. That's the truth. It is, Matt. It is. <laughs> well, I think this is like the interview for today. That was it. Yeah. That was good. I think we did a good job. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe you can tell like a really fun anecdote, what you you know saw on the road, something you've experienced. Well, when we were in Paris, our bus broke down. That wow. wasn't really a fun anecdote. That was more of a sad anecdote. Poor bus. But it broke down in front of this. Uh, yeah, luckily we made it to the venue and then it broke. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty funny, actually. Yeah, it was perfect But timing. You, you still slept in it because it was a sleeping bus or something? Well, no, we got a new bus later that day, but it still broke. Yeah. And are there some some other weird experience since you had this crazy life people come up to you maybe you got emails or what happened no it, it's been great yeah I've been recognized a few times which is which is fun and weird with your head on yeah or without with it on and someone will come up and usually they're very polite so it's not not bothersome and it's happened in the Netherlands or somewhere else yeah Netherlands Germany Yeah, it's pretty strange. And they want to take a picture or something? Yeah, just come and say hi. 
cool, cool, nice, nice. So far, so good, I think. Yeah, so far, so good. Okay, great. I wish you all the luck Thank in the future, you. and I think it will work out with the new song. So I'm really curious wow. what wow. they're gonna be. Yeah, me too. I'm curious what the hell they're gonna turn out. <laughs> Me too. And I hopefully something good will happen in America soon so you can be more with Cassandra. Well, thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you, Matt.